Hello friends. In this video, we will try to find the solution of this question which says a particle is thrown upward from ground. It experiences a constant resistance force which can produce a retardation of 2 meter per second square. The ratio of time of ascent to time of descent is. So we have to find the ratio of time of ascent and time of descent in this particular case where g is 10 meter per second square. So so I have just drawn this particle. Let's say this is the object. Uh, so in the first case, it is moving upward direction, right? So it is given that the retardation, so retardation means it always act against the motion, right? So if it is going upward, so the retardation will act in the downward direction or the resistance force will act in the downward direction. So that retardation value is two meter per second square. Again, if this object is moving upward, so the acceleration due to gravity acts on the downward direction, right? In the second case, when this object moves downward direction, right? So then the resistance force will act against the motion. So this time the resistance force will produce a retardation in upward direction, which is two meter per second square again, and the G will act in the downward direction. So I'll say this is the upward scenario and this is a downward scenario. And we also know that the time in motion under gravity is given as t is equal to under root 2h by g, right? Where h is the height which is attained by the object and g is the acceleration due to gravity. So this was the scenario when we have a pure gravitational motion. But in this case, a additional force is acting because of which the net acceleration on this object is different, right? So let's say in the T upward scenario, see the, this is going to be 2H upon G plus this additional acceleration, which is a retardation G plus A. And in T downward direction, it is going to be 2H upon this time they will act in the opposite direction. So G minus A, right? So we have to find the ratio of T up versus T down. So this will become 2H upon G plus A into G minus A over 2H. So this 2H will cancel out. So if we feed the value of G and A, so this will become under root. 10 minus 2 upon 10 plus 2 that means under root 8 by 12 or I can say it is going to be under root 2 by 3. So this is the solution of this problem.